It's good to be with you on this Wednesday. And today I'd like to go to what we usually consider a Christmas passage. Maybe you're in a hot place right now and that'll cool you down a little bit. Christmas will be here before we know it. But the Christmas story is a very important story for us to remember as we think of who the person of Christ truly is and what that means for us. We've got to understand that Jesus Christ came into this world at a very troubled time for the people of God. It had been four centuries since they had heard a word from the Lord. Malachi was the last prophet. And now there was a sense that God was beginning to move, and yet nothing. There was a remnant that was looking to the Lord. The Roman government had its ruthless control over the entire uh, Western civilization there, and even Eastern civilization. They had great control over the world at that time. And the Jewish nation was corrupt and under the power of Rome. And so the people of God were in bad straits. But then God broke through, and we revel in the message that God uh, was giving to uh, Joseph and uh, Mary. And in Matthew 1, we have the wonderful account of Joseph being told about what had happened to his wife, that she had a child that was conceived by the Holy Ghost. And we read in verse 21, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And so he was given this glorious truth that the Messiah that they had been looking for, the salvation uh, for the nation of Israel and for all people had been born. And it was going to be uh, his responsibility to help bring the, up this son. And then in verse 23, Behold, a virgin shall be with child. This is the prophet Isaiah speaking here. And shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. What a great truth. In the middle of a very dark time, the light of the reality of the Messiah shines forth. But what I want you to see is how Joseph reacted. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him. Joseph had all kind of emotions going when he found out that Mary was with child. But the minute he heard this truth, that this was about the Messiah, this was about deliverance, this was about salvation, that this child was God with us, that changed everything. This was a fulfillment of the Old Testament. He believed the word of God, and based upon that, he didn't look at the Roman Empire. He didn't look at the corrupt Jewish leadership. He looked at what God said, and he did exactly what God told him to do. He did not let his discouraging circumstances at the moment stop him from being the servant that God wanted him to be. That's exactly how we need to be right now. We have all the truth about the fact that God came to this earth, Jesus Christ. We have the completed revelation. And we need to be just like Joseph to do exactly as we are bidden, to be the servant that God wants us to be. Yes, again, the world has all kinds of problems. It always will because of the curse. But God has a plan for us. Jesus came. There is salvation. The good news needs to be shared. And God has a perfect will for each one of us. So we need to be encouraged that God will use us just like he did Joseph if we will be humble servants and trust him with all of our heart.